Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Many people have asked me to do more tomato videos, so today we are going to do one. Now, what I have here is a large container. Uh, this is a protein container and it holds two gallons of water. What we're gonna do is grow this tomato plant, one of my favorite tomato, and this is the, the sun sugar. It's a very, very sweet cherry tomato type. So uh, it's very nice to grow. I have two plants already grown outside and this is an extra one that I purchased and um, I didn't start it from seeds because these are so inexpensive they're like a dollar 49 cents per plant and it, it's very cheap so it, it'll save you um, two to three weeks uh, this tomato is actually much long much older than that so probably uh, three to four weeks that I've been that, that I'm saving for just a dollar 49 cents so go to your local nursery and pick up a plant that way you don't have to start fresh from seeds and it also speed up the process. So I'm going to grow it in this container and what I'm going to do is leave it outside. I have a solar pump here that I've been using for the past uh, maybe a year and a half. Uh, this thing looks all beat up but it still works just fine. So when the sun is out it'll pump air into uh, the water and, and give um, the plant some oxygen. So I may use this because it doesn't require any electricity and uh, I, I don't like to spend too much or, or have too many equipments running. I just want it as simple as possible. So what we're going to do first is drill a hole here to get a 3 inch net cup to fit on top of this. And this is the size here. We want it to fit right in there. So to drill a 3 inch net cup, you're going to need a, a hole saw that is... 76 millimeter and that is the number three uh, if you go to home depot or lowe's or whatever and you need one of this that's number three or 76 millimeter this container here already has a little center there so you can just apply that little dot and then you can drill your hole and if you have a container that doesn't have a center you can just draw a diag diagonal line and then where it meets that's where you want to drill we're gonna get our drill here. Okay, to drill a hole in here, you want to center it like that, and you want to drill it forward. Okay, so once it attaches itself, change the drill to reverse, like that, and then drill it. When you do it in reverse, it will give you a nice smooth cut, and that would fit like so. Okay, and another thing I would recommend doing is drill some small holes here so that we can zip tie the net cup to the container here because sometimes tomato gets really tall and it, it flip over and then it bring the net cup with it. So what I usually do is I'll get this little drill thing here and I would drill a small hole here. And then you can just do it like in two, in four corners. Okay, and then if you just in case want to apply an air stone, then you want to drill a hole for the air stone. So we'll do it right here. And that would allow you to feed like a standard aquarium tube into here. See that? Okay, and then that would attach to my solar pump here. And then that would have feed the plant some air. Now what I would recommend doing next is to give it an additional outer cover so that lights cannot get through because when light can penetrate through into the nutrient, it causes algae to grow. So what I do is I'll cover this up with uh, black plastic or you can paint it if you like if you have a black paint give it a layer of paint and that would help as well all right guys here's what we have i just took some black plastic that i've been using to line my raised bed and i just cover it all around nothing crazy or special just like so and then i tape the top and that is it that is how we create this container and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mix some nutrients. All 
All right, we want just enough to touch the bottom of this net cup. Okay, what we're gonna do next is add some nutrients. And what I'm gonna use is the Dino Grow series here. And because the tomato is still growing, I'm gonna use the grow. And then after a few weeks, once they get old enough and th start to bloom, uh, when they're fruiting, then I will switch to this. Okay, for one gallon, we're going to use five milliliter. So this is two. We're gonna use 10, so two of these. Okay, we need to mix this up really well, and then we're gonna adjust the pH. Okay, take our pH meter and measure. So right now it's sitting at around 6.3, roughly. So we need to bring it down to around 5.9. And I'm using pH down. All right, you're going to let it settle for a few minutes and then we're gonna check it again. Okay, 5.9, so that's perfect. All right, now we're going to prepare the tomato to be placed in our system. So we need to take it out of here and remove all of the dirt and wash it off nicely. Alright, now what we need to do is put the roots in the net cup like so, kind of like wrap it around, hold it in place, and then we're going to get some of these clay pebbles. Okay, then what we need to do is get our zip ties here. Go like that. Okay, and then do that for the rest of them. Okay, we are all done. I got my zip ties all put in place. So the next thing we would like to do, if you want to add an air stone, is to run the tube into here. And then you want to attach this thing here. Just drop it into like that and close it. Okay, we are all set and finished. I'm gonna put this in a place where it gets plenty of sun outside and when the sun comes out I'm gonna show you how the the system works. Alright guys, here it is two days later and the, the first few days it was pretty cloudy so there's no sun for the unit to run. So today the sun is nice and shiny so my unit is working right there and as you can see, you can hear it. So the plant is still doing pretty well. Let me see if I can take it out and show it to you. 
check that out you see there's bubbles action going in there and the unit is working off of solar power all right guys it has been exactly 10 days now and the plant is still alive doing well and it's starting to bud right here so we got a few flowers very exciting that's the update for 10 days so I'll come back soon and give you guys another update all right guys we'll come back it has been exactly 16 days now and the plant is making really good progress so it is starting to fruit already so let me show you a few uh, there's a bunch of flowers so there will be more fruits but I have I think two fruits that uh, I can show you oh here we go see there so the fruit is right there very cool huh so two fruits are forming and then we'll have a bunch more I need to get rid of these suckers because uh, it may drain the energy from the plant like these here like uh, usually when people grow tomato they like to get rid of these suckers because uh, it it will take focus uh, a lot of the energy to focus here and it grows somewhere else you actually want it to grow up a little bit and to produce more nice fruits so then usually people just get rid of these suckers right here I, I may do that and then propagate them and grow them inside but um uh one thing to note guys um if you're doing this outdoor like me here and what happens is when the sun comes out and it's big, it gets really hot then it'll make the water evaporate quickly so uh, you have to monitor this constantly every few days check on the water and then add some nutrients because uh, if it goes lower than the roots then the roots may dry and die back so uh, just monitor it and then if it uh, if it goes too low you want to fill it up a little bit and that's what I've been doing because I want to keep the roots white and healthy so because we're growing in a DWC method with with air being pumped into the nutrients you can fill the water all the way up to the root level because the air is already being produced in here by this unit uh, if you're doing cracky then you don't want to do that because then you're gonna drown the roots so um, in this method I I usually come out every few days and then I will uh, check on it and then if, if it goes too low then I will fill it up a little bit so let me show you what I'm talking about you see how nice and white the roots are and look at that there's bubble action down there and the water level is pretty much at the top because I just filled it up a little bit so uh, you don't want to get the roots exposed for too long and then um, just allow the, the, the water to touch so sort of like the top level of the roots and uh, that will keep it nice and white and healthy because uh, it'll be beneath the water and not dry out and then this unit will give it good nice oxygen so there you have it guys it's a very fun project and uh, it's really cool uh, you can do this indoor if you do this indoor it will be better because the sun would not <laughs> dry up the water too quickly and it would be easier to maintain because you don't have to refill the water too often but outdoor you're gonna have to watch it a little bit more but it's a very cool system it will be fun for you to do for the kids fun to do as a project and it's just fun to come by and check the plant and and then you know see fruits come out of it anyway guys I hope you enjoy the video and try this out for yourself uh, I will list where I got this unit from so that you can check it out anyway thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe